Here is a 2023 Kia Telluride EX X-Line in Dark Moss. It's going on three years, and now we're getting a facelift. We're getting some interior rework design. I'm Anthony from Hawkeye Rides. I'm gonna go over the exterior, the interior, some comparison between rivals, take it for a drive, and explain to you some things I like and dislike about the Kia Telluride. The X-Line gets some exterior styling components. Reworked Tiger Nose grille with the gloss black that's going to be in the interior, satin aluminum that's gonna run around it, tweaked LED headlamps, and the lower bumper has been reworked. It's more boxy and rugged, and that's what we're trying to accomplish with the X-Line, is a rugged appearance, including these 20-inch gloss black alloy wheels. Matte black will surround the fenders and the lower parts of the whole vehicle with the satin aluminum on the side door panels. A length at 196.7 inches, which is not going to be the longest in class. It will not be the most performance, but it has the same power option as the Hyundai Palisade, which is a 3.8 liter, naturally aspirated V6 producing 291 horsepower and 262 pound-feet of torque. That's paired to an eight-speed automatic transmission. This is the all-wheel drive, so 18 MPGs for the city and 21 MPGs for the highway. Also get increased towing to 5,500 pounds. The Mazda CX-90, it's gonna be a little bit more powerful and a little bit more of the luxury line. And comparing this to the Hyundai Palisade, this ticks the box for off-road look and luxury blended four-wheel independent suspension with a front mcpherson strut the rear is a multi-link dual exhaust outlets are going to be on one side which it will look a little bit more athletic if it was separated but i do like that they put the satin aluminum in between with the parking sensors you get the reverse camera and the signature led tail lamps that are vertical but go inward so you know this is a kia telluride even from a rear perspective our lift gate going into 21 cubic feet. While we're waiting, the spare tire is tucked underneath here. You have storage that's underneath and a holder so it can hold that so you don't have to sit here and hold it the whole time. With a 12 volt, the rear bench, the third row, I have it folded all the way back. 60-40 split. Just do it from the back and that increases cargo to 46 cubic feet. Push down for the second row captain seats to maximize cargo to 87 cubic feet with a wide opening because this is an SUV, naturally aspirated V6, X-Line. We need to go inside, start up so you can hear that exhaust now. Ten-way leather bucket front seats, heated and ventilated. And let's take this off so you can see the texture. Put the X-Line badging in the seats. The new dashboard layout starts with a one-panel curved touchscreen and digital gauge cluster. Navigation and Wi-Fi is now standard. Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, Sirius XM, AM, FM, streaming, Bluetooth audio, Kia Connect, put it into reverse, reverse camera. With trajectory, the lines expand when you turn the wheel. Wood inlays are going to be in the center of the dash with physical buttons and knobs to turn on and off the audio sound system, dual climate control settings. Open up in here and you get a wireless charging pad, USB 12 volt, the key fob for the Telluride. On the sides, you'll have the heated and ventilated seat switches with a storage nook for the passenger. Leather around the gear lever. Driving mode select. Start with smart, sport, comfort, eco, snow. In here, because this is a new car, let's take this off. It's gonna be nice and soft. Open up, you get a storage pocket that you can pick up. Deep storage in the center with a 12 volt, leather wrap steering wheel, multi-function, adaptive cruise control, lane keep assist, the stocks, and the digital gauge cluster. The dashboard 
and the door panels can figure into each other and wrap around into your everyday materials that's gonna be found on the top. You get the wood inlays, the satin aluminum that goes into the center, one touch up and down for all the windows, and it's soft where you rest your arms, and a large storage pocket with the beverage holder in the front with a moon roof. Headroom, 39.5 inches, and legroom at 42.4 inches with a large foot well for the driver and passenger. For the second row, 38.8 inches of headroom, third climate control setting, air vents in the ceiling, captain seats, so it makes it a little bit more desirable, and these also adjust. They do recline back so you can relax with the four-way seat adjustments. Cup holders in the center, USB behind both of the front seats, storage, and an area that you can hang up with a 12 volt on the bottom. Manual shades, everyday materials for the door panel, and leg space reads at 42.4 inches. You can also adjust this up to make it a little bit tighter and better for the back, or you can make it a little bit more comfortable for the second row. To go inside the third row, simply push the button, slides forward, making easy access for the entrance. For the third row, I'm at 37.8 inches of headroom, 31.4 inches of legroom. The rails are pushed back, but you're going to expect that with captain seats. And depending on how the second row puts the seat in position, it will make it a little bit more comfortable. This is always gonna be an issue, even if it's tied in, because it just kind of dangles. It's gonna be harder materials pretty much found in the whole back. USB port with a storage cubby, cup holder, and a storage pocket for a larger cell phone with the air vents in the center and a larger window so you don't have that claustrophobic feel. Sitting into the center, headroom is still not an issue. Leg space isn't really because I can stretch it out. Because I have the seat folded back in the 60-40 position, I'm kind of sitting like this. Feet, butt, and shoulder space will be shared because it's going to be a little bit tighter for three occupants in the back due to the way the side panels bulge out for the armrest. 3.8 liter, 291 horsepower, 262 pound feet of torque. It's not going to be the most in class, but it's naturally aspirated, which is kind of hard to find these days because a lot of vehicles are going turbo. And one thing that makes this vehicle stand out particularly is that it fits in a luxury and a rugged SUV profile, which is hard to find because you're not going to get that same look with the new Honda Pilot, but you get it with the Kia and it's similar to the Hyundai Palisade. And because you can compare this against luxury lines like Cadillac, Audi, BMW, it really does make this vehicle more unique. Some things that I like, or pros I should say, is the interior feels a lot more airy, especially with the new design of this one screen curve, which has two different displays. Another pro about the vehicle is you get increased towing. So 5,500 pounds, it doesn't sound like a huge deal, but it kind of is. Another thing is you can fit two adults in the third row, my dimensions, and look at the performance. It's just ready to take off. On the disadvantage side though, it's hard to fit three occupants in the third row because of the width of it. Another disadvantage would be that the second and third row also sit higher up, each one of them compared to the front seats. But the boxy styling takes me to more positive for the exterior, especially because we are looking for that rugged profile and they have captured it. You have a lot of storage compartments. Every row has areas for charging ports and little nooks. Turn radius at a stop point, over 196 inches. You're getting about two and a part lane. Let's rock and roll. And let's hear the, let's see those brakes. So even though it's almost 200 inches long, you have good stopping distance. 70 to zero is around 175 feet, which is pretty good considering this is still a box on wheels lifted up. You will feel like you're sitting more in a truck the way it holds itself for the front occupants. It is a smooth ride, even though we have upgraded 20 inch wheels. The steering wheel has a little bit of play to it. When you have it in 
sport mode, the vehicle is just always ready to engage. If you put it into comfort, there will be a little bit of weight added to the pedal. For maneuverability, you can get in and out of lanes without any issues. And because we sit up higher, you can see all around you. You have lane keep assist, blind spot monitoring, adaptive cruise control. So you have the safety components. And this is all captured. Every time I say the word captured, my camera wants to take a picture. All of this is included in the package for a Kia in which if you go into those luxury lines, you're going to be spending five and $10,000 more than you would for this. And you still have the same capabilities. Let me know what you think in the comments. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing, check out the next video. And I like to thank Regal Kia for giving us this 2023 Kia Telluride.